Hey guys, what's up? This is Spaffboy and welcome to Massive Mods. And we're looking at a, a couple of things today. We're looking at this Rabbit Steiger cool looking rudimentary old school tractor along with this forestry trailer which also looks bloody cool. You gotta say. Right, so before we kick off, let's go and have a look at exactly what it is that you buy. And uh, as always, links for these will be in the uh, descriptions. So we've got the Rabbit 250, which I've got a Steiger 250. Um, the Dupler Kerek, which I haven't got. Uh, I've just got the Rabbit 250. It's only £10,000, but it is quite old. So you can understand why that would be. It's 300 horsepower, decent amount of power, 95 pounds a day to maintain. So that's pretty good. And then forestry equipment, we've got, it's called a Timber Kipper Cran, eight meters, 33 and a half thousand pounds, 70 pound a day to maintain. But it's quite big, which is the good thing here. So let's hop inside and have a look. Wow. Again, oh, nice detailing of the tools in there. Just have I see, I doubt it, no. But, wow, doesn't that look cool? Oh, bog roll, nice. <laughs> well, when you're out in the woods for a long time, so none of the, none of the dials works. And you'll notice that I'm not using the SATEC wheel today. That is because I am soon to be moving out, so I have actually got that packed away. So I've had to go back to the keyboard which I have to say is very odd having now used um, the SATEC wheel in its place. We're even going to make it up here. Power! Ah look, some Christmas trees left over from my Christmas special. We'll ignore them. <laughs> so we'll come out through here. And line it up here. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to try and use this. I'm going to go and get a uh, forestry harvester, and I am going to uh, cut some tree down, cut some trees down, and then we are going to use it as a logger. So give me a minute, and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, so I used a chainsaw to cut up this lovely tree here. Obviously, rolled miles as it always does. And we've got the uh, forwarder set it up there, or set up there, or the trailer. Let's have another quick look around this. So it does look old school, which I really like, especially on this map. I think it goes well with the whole Eastern European uh, feel. Um, it's not ideal for this trailer, because look how low that is. But anyway, one thing I do like is look at the exhaust. It goes proper black. No worries about the environment here. But anyway, let's try and get up into this, however one might do that. So first, I imagine we will have to put the legs out. There we go. Uh, ah, okay, so you don't actually sit in it, you just do that. Okay, we can do that, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's really responsive, actually. I've got to remind myself of how you do this. There we go. So that, that. And then twist is that. I got it. I'm a bit far away. <laughs> right. We can get it, though. Go on. Okay, but in terms of the um, mod, it's actually uh, pretty easy to use in terms of it's very responsive. It's not very easy to use with the mouse because I'm not used to it. Got one. <laughs> I didn't cut that one very long, did I? No. No, I didn't. You see, it actually moves really quickly. What a pathetic log. <laughs> that was my fault. 
but I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. I'm going. I'm going back to farming simulator basics for this. But I do like how you can kind of just. Oh right. Oh my god. So that seems to be in. It doesn't seem to fit into the claw very well, does it? But bring that in, make it a bit more manageable. Jeez. Let's get that straight. And we need to bring it down. Wow, it, it's really good. I've got to say, it is really, really good. Um, so if you do like it, go and check it out with the link in my uh, description. It's very good. I wouldn't actually suggest using uh, this tractor with it, but I think it goes well in terms of this map. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. If you liked it, please drop me a like. Um, subscribe for more. There's always going to be Farming Simulator videos on this channel. So if that's what you're into, then drop me a like and uh, subscribe to this engine-powered channel. But for now, in this massive mod, and this really cool mod, that is going to be it. Thank you. Bye.